Good morning everybody, I've decided to vlog today and I've actually just switched beds because I was asleep in the other bed but this room's got the good lighting because there's a roof light in the roof obviously which means that the light like comes down and in the other room there's only one window and it makes you look like you're shining a torch under your chin. So I've come in this room for a second, ooh string. Me and Piddly and I've decided to vlog today so that is what I'm gonna do. I'm awaiting a parcel this morning which is very exciting because it's a new bag and I've honestly wanted this bag since I got my first ever Mulberry one or since it came out to be honest so I'm super excited. Can't wait and I've got the cutest pyjamas on. I've got little Agnes's and unicorns on. My tan has gone patchy again. <laughs> But it's 7am right now and I'm just about to get up because my parcel comes between 7 and 12 but I've actually been getting up near enough at this time for most days anyway for like the last two weeks and I've really enjoyed getting up and I've been going to bed at some nights I've gone at like 9 o'clock but last night I went at 11. It's no later than that. I'm feeling a lot better for having a sleeping pattern. Kind of kick starts you into life. Also, I've got tan on. I just popped a fresh layer on last night so if I'm looking a bit like patchy that's why I just need to go in the shower and wash it off and I've got the lamest plait in my hair because I didn't want my hair to go really curly so I just put like a really loose plait in <laughs> it looks so lame anyways I don't think I told you that we're going back to Sheffield mom's here and we're going back to Sheffield just for a couple of days I'm gonna get my hair trimmed and I've got a few things to do <sighs> So after my bag comes, that's what is going to happen. So I should probably pack because I haven't packed yet. Do any of you guys get really cold at night? Like really, really cold. As in last night I had a duvet blanket and a dressing gown over the top of me. And I had pyjamas on and socks. And I was still cold. Anyways, I'm going to go downstairs and get some breakfast. And wait for my bag. Oh, sleepy. Oh. I've also finally got a Lumi case. It's a rose gold one and it's basically a light up case. It's got like LEDs around the side, but it works so well. If you're in the dark and you're wanting to take a picture, it's honestly amazing. I took two last night and in one, you couldn't even see me because it was so dark, but then I just popped this on and then you could see me. Awesome. Love it. Call me Kim Kardashian. I'm still obsessed with Best Fiends. I think I'm on level like 170 something now. Can't stop, damn it. I think what I'm gonna do is just get some breakfast and watch PLL because I'm avoiding going on Instagram and stuff until I've seen PLL because it's the finale one. I don't want people to ruin it. Obviously that show means a lot to me and I've said a couple of times that I'm not really enjoying this season but that doesn't mean that I hate the show. Like this show has been in my life for five years now and I'm still gonna watch it whether I'm enjoying it or not because I care too much about the characters. I just hope it picks up a bit and there's a bit more like drama that goes on and stuff but maybe they will be in this last episode and then maybe it'll go from there who knows i'm gonna watch that anyway have a cup of tea feed nellington obviously and then just wait for my bag to arrive i'm probably being really annoying about my bag but i'm so excited to get it i've honestly wanted it for so long also i might have some rice pudding because it's on the side and mm, i love rice pudding yes got my rice pudding got my spare jam in case i eat all that <laughs> Got my tea, got my PLL, got my hair up in case it gets tense because when things get tense, having my hair down starts to annoy me. <laughs> so I've put it up ready. I'll get back to you on my feelings after I've watched it. Hush hush, sweet little liars. I hope someone dies. <laughs> Caleb. I am a mess. Caleb. Mm. PLL was freaking amazing this week. I'm not going to give any spoilers right now because I know how annoying that is. But I think everybody pretty much guessed who would have the twin. Except I think they did it in a really clever way because I was expecting the twin of the person to be a different person than who it actually was. Do you know what I mean? Like the name of them. I thought the twin would be named something else. 
It was such a good episode though. That was like the best episode out of the entire series. So now I'm just hoping it like goes from there, which I'm sure it will because I don't see a way of it going back to like kind of girly, dramery. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, it's now 40 past eight and I am about to take a shower. My bag hasn't arrived yet, so I'm just waiting for that, but I'm gonna take a shower. I'm also trying to be a bit quiet because mum's in bed. She's here right now because obviously, if you watched my last vlog, you would know that I haven't been mentally that great recently. I think taking a few weeks off, I think it's almost been about three weeks now, taking that time off has been really, really, really good for me, but at the same time, I still feel like mentally I'm at about 50%. I think I was at like 10% though, if you can measure how you're feeling. It would have been about a 10%, but now I'm feeling a lot jollier. Not the jolliest person in the world, but I'm feeling a lot jollier and I would say I'm now about a 50, so hopefully the only way is up, Towie, and I can continue getting better, but obviously I'm still gonna have like more down days and stuff because that is how mental health works unfortunately but i don't really want to talk about this in this vlog i feel like it's too much of a personal subject i just fancied vlogging today so i'm gonna also i look absolutely vile and i'm fully aware that i've done basically probably half this vlog looking absolutely vile <laughs> so i'm now gonna go and take a shower Still wait for my parcel. Then I might watch PLL again actually while I'm waiting. I don't have anything to do today because we're going home. I've just got to pack my case. So that's like the only thing that I've got to do. I've got my videos done for this week, filmed and edited them. So I've got all my YouTube stuff done. So it's more just like life stuff that I need to deal with today before we set off. And I think we're gonna set off at like one o'clock. My Parcel is coming before 12, so we'll probably just go after that if I'm ready. Then I'm gonna have a nice couple of days at home, which should chill me out even more because there's like no internet basically where I live. It's really shitty internet anyway, and I always feel more chilled out whenever I go back to Sheffield. However, I do love it when I come back to London after because I get so bored. Wow, focus. Right, I look like a toe, bye. I just had a shower and my box has arrived at exactly 9.27 when he said he would come. I got it from Selfridges, so it's come in a cute little yellow box with tissue paper. And the bag that I've got is another mulberry bag, which I'm excited about. Mum, you're watching me vlog and it's making me nervous. This is my new bag. Oh, sirens. This is my new bag. I got the Cara Delevingne mulberry backpack. Backpack. This has still got its like protective plastic over, so I'm just gonna leave that for now. It opens like this, and I'm gonna take everything out of it and show you. But you can wear the little straps three ways. So I thought I'd just show you inside. It's got two of these little pockets here, and then it's got a big pocket here at the back, and it comes with the little mulberry card thing. I love it. So this is what it looks like as a rucksack. How cute is that? You just link them and you can carry it like that if you want to with the handles, but then it's got the rucksack bits on and it's adorable and it fits my laptop perfectly. I've just popped it in. I've just brought it upstairs to take a cheeky little picture for Instagram because why not? So I thought I'd show you it a little bit better. It's the black quilted one that I got. I think it's gorgeous and it's got this tie here for the straps like when it's on your back so that the straps don't dangle because obviously it is a backpack. This is a mulberry logo, the little tree and it's got a clasp like this and all mulberries come with this which is actually a padlock and the padlock goes through this little hole on here to stop anybody from getting in which i think is a very good idea it's this wide compared to my hand then again i've got really tiny hands and you can widen the inside by tightening or loosening this it like widens this out so you can fit more in and then the back obviously i've got it tied as a backpack right now but you can tie it to these as well and just have it as a shoulder bag as I've said and I didn't want to take this off yet in case I found a fault but I'll take that off in a minute because there's no faults. It's got the little mulberry sign here. Oh my god that's so satisfying. Ah. And yeah this is my new bag. I'll leave a link to it below if you're interested. Oh on the bottom as well it just says made in England and it's got these four stoppers and they've all got plastic on. Ooh, I love taking plastic off things. 
obviously this bag is very 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 ridiculously expensive but if you know me at all you'll know that bags are what I choose to spend my money on I love bags so much and I just feel like designer bags last you forever they're made to last whereas bags from the high street and stuff I used to use them all the time but they would always just break on me after like three months of using them all the seams would start coming apart and stuff and I was buying like Zara bags and Topshop bags and stuff but they're just not made in the same way as designer bags are designer bags are made with so much care and attention to little details and stuff so I am thrilled with this I can't wait to start using it and I've just popped everything in it that I would take to an airport and it fits every in I just wanted to do like a triple check before because obviously it is a lot of money so if it didn't fit everything in I would have taken it back but it does so that's exciting I'm gonna get ready now because I look vile yes yay to taking Instagram pictures <laughs> also I've mentioned this so many times but if you want to whiten something get facetune and there's a little tool that's the whitening tool it's meant for teeth and stuff but you can whiten a background. Let me see if I can show you what it was like before. Yeah, so can you see the difference in that? It was way more yellowy before, so I've just whitened it all to match my theme. Such a good app. I would recommend it so much. P.S. Go follow my Instagram if you want to. It is Velvet Ghost. This is my new little theme. It's very spring-like. Kind of ruined it with like these bright pictures, but hey ho. And I always look at this photos of you section. I really like looking at that. So yeah, cool, great, fab. Hey Nell. So we're just gonna get the car ready and then. <gasps> we're just getting the car ready and then we're gonna set off and I'm not bothering with makeup today. I can't be bothered and I've got greasy hair, but hey ho, life goes on. Here's a London bus, just in case you've never seen one. Hello London traffic, nice to see you again. Hello Nellington, being a good boy back there aren't you? I look like an absolute boiled egg because you can't see my neck and you can't see my hair. <laughs> oh well. We are off home as I've said a million times and we're gonna stop at Starbucks. Can you see these chairs? They're shaped like bums. <laughs> And it took me ages the other day to figure out that it's a man bum and a girl bum because my eyesight is so bad that I thought they were all just uh, guy bums, but no, they're not. Bye, bum chairs. Mum's just gone to put some petrol in the car. I actually look disgusted. Why am I vlogging? I wanted to ask you guys what your favourite TV show is right now because obviously mine is always PLL and I'm watching The Walking Dead and I really like it like I'm all caught up with that but aside from that I don't really have anything that I'm absolutely loving I need to watch the new series of The Vampire Diaries but apart from that I don't know what to watch so yeah let me know what your favourite is Mum's just brought gingerbread men Thanks Mum I'm going to do a little service station haul Ready salted crisps Turkey, cheese, ham, bacon, mayo, lettuce, <laughs> sandwich. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> what, what am I saying? <laughs> Starbs. Oh, I'm glad there's no one in that car. I didn't even check that before I started. <laughs> There we have the little service station haul. I'm about to dig into my sandwich now because I'm so hungry, even though I demolished a gingerbread man. It's currently 12.46. And we've probably got at least another three hours, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. How are you, Nellington? Well, I'm just having a little nap, actually. On my pink flowery blanket. Still looking like an egg. But we just went in pets at home and I got told off for filming the cute little animals. So thanks to whoever told me off. But here are some cute animals. They're adorable. And we got Nelly some toys because we left his at home. So I'm going to show you them. And we also got him a litter tray because... He always uses lilies and I don't think that's fair on Lil. So the first one we got him is this wiggly jiggly mouse. Look how cute that is. And if you pull its cord, it wiggles. Which I can't really show you right now, but he's going to love that. Then I got this weird little giraffe thing. I just thought it was cute and it's got a fluffy tail. And I also got him this, which is adorable. It's a catnip monster and he loves catnip. So there he's new three toys now we have to name them in the comments you're excited now bobs we're going home now aren't we chunky 
Chip. Hello, Lillian. <laughs> oh, run away. <laughs> Lillian, come give me a snuggle. Look at that sucky tongue. Oh, chunky Chip. Look at her in this. I know, she knows what's happening. <laughs> You know, Nelly's about to walk through the door. Hi, George. Look how ginger he looks in here. Go on then, go find her. Your best friend. So, I am home in the world's most unflattering light lighting. Because this has like a blue roof, so it makes your hair look a weird colour. And I don't know why, but it always has done. So, we're just going to unpack a little bit. Get Nelly all settled, even though he's settled already because he's like the best cat and he just loves life. <laughs> Ooh, we've got a new telly in here. This is fancy. One, why is it curved? Gee. What the heck? Some people buy bags, some people buy tellies. <laughs> <laughs> Not you, you no, probably no. didn't buy it, did you? No. Golly, that's huge. <laughs> Mom's just told me it's a 3D telly and I can't see 3D. <laughs> So I'm going to miss out on all the fun. But I've just said The Walking Dead will look amazing on this. Hey Lily, good morning. Oh, why does she hate everyone? Thanks for driving us home, Mum. Hello. <laughs> Aww. Oh, I love my kids. <laughs> oh. What's up, Gosh. Mum? She just read a really nice Mother's Day card, didn't you? I did. And a mattress. Who remembers my old room? It's really hot in here. I love the wallpaper. It's from Laura Ashley for everybody who always used to ask. Niall. Harry. Zane. Liam. Where's Louie? Where is Louie? That's weird. I could just go for a nap to be honest. I feel so tired. I didn't get much sleep last night. I think it was because I was so excited for my bag to come which sounds so lame but I was really excited. So I kept waking up. Look at this. This is why you get a black cat if you like to wear black. <gasps> String. I've just got some noodles and whenever I'm eating noodles, I always half the noodles and leave one half to the side and then just cook like half of them. Because I always find that if you put the flavour on, they never taste flavoury enough. So I only cook half of them with the flavour. Then the other half, whenever I cook a soup, I add that to the soup just to make it like a noodle soup and it's a really good idea actually. So I'll probably have soup later because it's only, oh it's 7 o'clock, oops. But I'm also watching Helen and I've been editing this vlog, I'm a little bit through it. I just had to shut down Final Cut Pro because where my mouse is, it had this weird red ring around it so... I shut it down and it looks like it's gone now, which is so good. However, this vlog is currently 26 minutes long and I've got to cut it down, like edit it. Time to eat my noodles, whoa, yellow camera. I'm just about to go downstairs and watch some telly with the fam. So I thought I would just end the vlog here. But give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the fact that I'm back to vlogging and you enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry that I've looked absolutely vile all the way through, but some days you slay, some days you don't. Today was a don't. <laughs> I might actually do another vlog while I'm back in Sheffield. So I'll probably see you sometime soon, actually. I hope you guys have had a nice day, and I will see you when I see you. <laughs> Bye!